So I got tagged for the 50 questions is odd facts about me tag by Michelle from Adventures Life Adventures in Keto. So you need to check out her channel. She's so fun. Um, and I'm going to answer all these questions and then I'm not going to really specifically tag anyone uh, because I just did the, the quarantine tag and tagged a bunch of people. So if you watch this and you want to do this tag, please do it. And then let me know in the comments because I really want to come and watch it. This is it's fun to get to know people this way. And maybe I'll mention a few people at the end. Uh, okay, actually, yes. Right now I'm going to mention Angie from Brown Girl Life. Angie, I would love for you to do this. Um, but maybe I'll think of some people at, to say at the end. But if I don't say you, please do this tag. I, It's fun. It's fun to get to know people. Okay. Number one. Where are you from? I was born in Aspen, Colorado. And lived there till I was 10. Not in Aspen specifically, but a little town between Aspen and Glenwood called El Jebel. Um, what, number two, what is your fondest memory? Hmm. Let me think about it for a second. Okay, fondest memory, I don't know if this is supposed to be as a child or just throughout your life, I'm not sure. So I have a lot of fun childhood memories playing with my siblings and, um, just doing cousins because I was real close to my, a lot of my cousins. So we did, just did a lot of zany things. Um, also I have fond memories of getting married to my husband and then adding each of our children to our family. So those were all just wonderful. So I can't, I can't actually think of anything in spe uh, specifically, but I really always love to play outside and do crazy things with my siblings and cousins. Um, I was the kid that always had a lot of ideas. Some were really stupid and foolish, like jumping off of the roof with an umbrella type of things. Um, so we just did a lot of crazy fun things. I had a pretty fun childhood, most, most of all. So um, I had a lot of crazy in my childhood too, but mostly it was good. Um, number three, did you belong to any fan clubs? No. Number four, can you swim? Yes. Number five, hot dogs or cheeseburgers? Definitely cheeseburgers. I think hot dogs are disgusting. You, me, I really have to be in the mood for a hot dog to want to eat one. Or if there's nothing else to eat and I'm trying to stay keto, I'll eat a hot dog. But they're not my favorite. I'm not a big fan of um, sausage or bratwurst either. Okay, let's see. Number six, favorite type of food? Um, Pre-keto? Probably real pizza, pasta, anything like that. I love that kind of stuff. I absolutely love Ethiopian food. That is my ultimate, perfect favorite food in the whole world. Um, Pre-keto or keto, frankly, because I, I will break keto to eat Ethiopian food. And, and I did last December. Um, so yeah, that's my end. When I'm on keto, I love bacon and shrimp and homemade beef jerky. Those are probably my favorites. Um, seven, party trick. Um, I can be a little so socially awkward, so I wouldn't say I have any party tricks, but I'm really good at talking a lot if I feel mostly comfortable with people and making jokes. Um, but a lot of times when I'm at parties, I feel uh, kind of uncomfortable and I just keep to myself, unless I know people well. Um, number eight, what do you drink in the morning? Water, sole, and keto collagen, those are the types of things that I drink. I don't drink coffee, so. Number nine, coffee or tea? Tea, because I don't, and it's not even actual like tea tea. I only drink herbal tea. So in our religion, which I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and I've talked about that before, but uh, we do not drink coffee or tea. We'll have herbal tea. We don't drink alcohol, so. Okay, number 10, favorite time of year? Um, I don't know. I don't know if yeah. this is like a seasonal thing. I think one of the questions was favorite season or, um, so I guess I can just get to that if that's another one too. I, I wrote these down off Michelle's, um, video when I watched it, I think yesterday or the day before. So I've already forgotten what the questions were. Um, so I'll just say this. My favorite time of year, I really like spring and summer because I love to be able to be outdoors and hiking and swimming, things like that. I don't mind snow during the winter sometimes, but if it's like a, a lot of snow or cloudy or something, it really 
gets me down and I don't like being cold. Um, I do like the fall a lot because it's like the changing of the seasons and I've always really enjoyed Halloween and just like that. There's just a lot of fun and uh, good feelings. Pretty much I like every time of the year except winter. Um, and I actually don't mind winter here in Colorado Springs because our snow melts pretty quickly. Okay, 11. Favorite hobby? Probably reading and hiking. Those are probably my favorites. 12. Tattoos? No. And I never will have tattoos. I have zero interest in that. 13. Do you wear glasses? No, I don't wear glasses and I don't wear contacts. However, my eyesight is getting bad. And so at some point soon, I'll probably need some glasses. Um, I have a hard time seeing things if it's up close to me. I have to pull it a little bit away from me. Um, 14. What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear is losing uh, my husband or one of my kids. Um, 15. Do you have a nickname? Um, my husband calls me Sweetie. When I was a kid, people called me like Wendy Bobendi or Wendell. Um, for a long time, um, people just called me W because I used to sign all my cards and emails and stuff that way because it's just easy and I actually still kind of do it. So I have one friend in particular that always calls me W. Um, and I actually have a friend now that calls me Wen, so I don't know. Um, 16, three favorite drinks. Water, probably keto collagen since I'm keto. I guess I could do a non-keto and a keto. i not a huge soda person, but I do sometimes like to have Diet Pepsi. Um, and I kind of like um, Gatorade Zero. So that's a lot of drinks, right? 17, rain or snow? Rain, definitely. That's easy. 18, do you exercise? Yes, I do. I've always been huge into exercising, even when I was terribly overweight. I love to walk. Um, and I can walk the same route over and over again for years. Like, it doesn't get boring to me. I love hiking and I love running. Um, I'm okay with swimming. I mostly like to just be out in the sun um, at a pool. Swimming isn't like, like I'm not dying to swim. But uh, And recently I've been starting to do some push-ups. 19, can you change a tire? Yes, I can. Um, 20, favorite flower? Carnation. I love carnations. 21, favorite author? That's hard. I like a lot of authors. I love reading. Um, oh, I'm totally bleeding. Okay, that's weird. Um, I've always liked Jane Austen. I really like Dickens, Charles Dickens. Who else do I like? like um, I like Alexander McCall Smith. I like his number one ladies detective agency ones. Fuji's is music. <laughs> Mm -mm. I'm trying to think. I like a lot of authors, really. I'm not um, too particular. So, um, well, I am actually particular. I don't like people who write trashy books or um, mindless stuff. I like a little bit. Uh, I like classics. How, how about that? All right, let's see. Uh, Number 22, ever go skydiving? No, I never have and I never will because I have zero, zero, zero interest. Hey, will you guys take this conversation somewhere a little more private? Thanks. That's a Napoleon Dynamite. Um, uh, what do you call it? That's a reference to Napoleon Dynamite. There you go. Um, all right. Kit, 23, kids? Yes, 12. Um, six boys, six girls. It just magically worked out that way. We didn't plan it. It just happened that way. <laughs> they really are. They're going outside. <laughs> oh, they're so nice. Okay. 24. Favorite color. My favorite color for 90% of my life was red. And then in the last, like, probably 10-ish years, I have totally fallen in love with orange and teal, turquoise, that kind of color. Um, I just love them, and I like all three of them, even like together, but um, yeah, I, like, I just love those colors. 25, are you employed? Well, kind of. Not. I don't get paid for anything I do, but I homeschool my kids, which is definitely like a job, and I helped him with his business, so um, kind of. 26, can you whistle? Yes, I can, but I'm not going to demonstrate. 
Um, actually, I don't really like whistling, and I don't like when people whistle a lot. But that's just a shh. Okay, my phone's going to be weird. It's probably going to stop again in a second, too. It does this whenever I try and do a long video at once. It just stops. Um, 27. Favorite holiday. My favorite holiday is probably Christmas. I love Christmas, but I also really like Halloween. Um, tw 28. Siblings. Yes, I have four siblings. I have an older brother, and then a brother that's just younger than me, and then a sister, and then another brother. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Okay, so my phone did, did do it again, but I was looking down, so um, I missed it. So I talked a lot and then realized it. My, I was talking about my siblings and just saying how awesome they are, and I'm very close to them. Love them. 29, surgeries. So I've had three surgeries. Um, I had a pregnancy once that was ectopic, so that it, I also had... Um, uh, embryo in the uterus and that one didn't make it and then there was an embryo that was in the fallopian tube at the same time so that one had to be surgically removed and then I had um, some other stuff issues that I had surgery on girl stuff yuck and then another um, pregnancy that I lost about it was like five and a half years ago right and I had to have surgery for that one too so I was just far enough along that they had to to do surgery to get things out safely. Um, 30, baths or showers? Definitely showers. I hate showers. I hate baths. I just want to hurry and quickly get done with my getting ready routine and move on. I It makes me like stressed out to take too much time. Every once in a while, if I'm freezing, I like to stand in the hot water for a little bit, but then I get really like agitated and like get out. <laughs> 31, the last song you listened to? Um, actually, it would have been Killing Me Softly by Fugees. Um, Lauren Hill sings that song. 32, favorite dessert. Um, Pre-keto would definitely be pie. I love pie. Um, with keto, it's keto ice cream and, or maybe dark chocolate. Those are t the two things I like to snack on the most. I also, pre-keto, love homemade cookies. Love them. Keto cookies are just not the same. Like, I make them and eat them, and they're okay, but they're not the same. 33. How many TVs are in your house? We have four TVs. We don't um, use most of them. We have one in our bedroom that we never, ever, ever, ever use. We have one downstairs that we use all the time to watch movies and stuff as a family. We have two in our schoolroom. One is for hooking up the computer so we can do... Oh, we do? Okay, so I only have three TVs. I'm wrong. Because the one that we used to have two in the school room, and I guess we that's the one we moved to my room. See, we use it so little I didn't even realize that. And then, just a minute. So the other one is in the school room. We use it for school stuff, and then a lot of the times the little kids will watch stuff on there. Um, okay, number 34, worst pain. Hmm, good question. Huh? Broke, breaking my finger did hurt quite a lot, but I would have to say recovering from surgery. Yeah. Um, I did have one surgery. That was my ectopic one, and that, I don't know why, but it was pretty painful to recover from. Um, yeah, but breaking my finger didn't feel too great either. And I've um, sprained my ankles way too many times, and I've uh, fell down some metal stairs once, um, not too long ago, actually. That was like a year and a half ago. That didn't feel so great. Um, 35, do you like to sing? Um, yes, I like to sing. I don't have a very good singing voice, but I do like to sing, especially with my kids. Uh, like if we're singing along to a song. 36, hold on, bud, don't do that right now, please. What? Okay, back to the thing. Um, so are your parents alive? My mother is alive. My father passed away when I was seven years old in a coal mining accident. Um, and I do have a stepdad that's totally awesome, and he is my dad, so I consider him my dad. So kind of my parents are both alive, but my biological father is has passed away. Um, and he's my dad too, obviously, but I'm just clarifying. Let's see. 37, your scariest dream, 
Um, when I was a little kid, I used to have this dream that this monster was finding me, chasing me all around our house. I would hide behind this big, huge brown leather, or it wasn't leather, it was just an armchair, and it would always end up finding me. I had that dream every night for, I don't know, probably a couple years. Um, and I think my scary dream, that did terrify me, that dream did. My scarier dreams now are more like losing a, my, one of my kids or something, or my having something happening to my husband. 38, what do you binge watch? Um, I'm not sure that I binge watch anything except maybe keto videos. Like, I have a few channels that are like my favorites and I watch all their videos. Um, our family really likes to watch old movies and old westerns and stuff at night. So, I guess you could say that is a binge watching thing. 39, pumpkin or pecan pie? Definitely pecan, of course. I do like pumpkin, but pecan is the best. 40, worst habit. I asked my kids this the other day, and they were like, even if I didn't know what your worst habit is, I couldn't tell you. I would feel too bad. I have lots of bad habits. Give me a bad habit. What's my worst habit? Probably, I'm really bad at interrupting people, and I also yell a lot. That's what you're going to say, yeah. I have a few more. Ezra has a few more, Claire, yes. Yelling. Yelling is probably like my worst. But she's a great mother. So, so this I mean, is this is what I do. If someone bugs me or annoys me like somebody has in my children, I will have a quick shout, outburst, like, I'm so mad, I'm going to yell this out. Then it's done, and I'm just like mellow and fine. Before <laughs> long. <laughs> And then, yeah, so my other habit is I, I interrupt people sometimes. It's not very good. Uh, I lost my spot. Oh, 41, favorite genre of music? How about anything but country? I really don't like country music, except I do like Kenny Rogers and um, John Denver, because those are who I grew up with. I grew up on those two people. Um, no, I didn't grow up on Johnny Cash. Hmm. And if I did, I don't remember. But um, those are those are two that I, I do like country-wise. Um, everything else, I don't know. I kind of like a little bit of everything. Uh, let's see. 42, do you collect anything? Um, so I asked my kids this the other day, too, and they said, you collect books, which is probably true because we have, like, 2,800 books. <laughs> laundry yeah, detergent. Exactly. It's so true. This is terrible. Well, we, go through we do go through clothes a lot, but I have this really weird thing about having as much laundry detergent as I possibly can fit on the shelves in my laundry room. And if I start running low, I'll buy more and I'll even stack them down on the floor. I love having tons of huge things of laundry detergent. It's the liquid laundry detergent. I have no idea. That just like brings me joy. <laughs> It's weird. Um, I also like roosters, gnomes. Oh, yeah, you guys said skinny pigs, too. That's a new habit, a new hobby. Um, but I, if I see a rooster or gnomes, I like those. But I don't, I don't have anything that I'm like... Fake roosters and gnomes. I, I have to get... Yes, <laughs> fake roosters and fake gnomes, as Claire wants me to clarify on that. Okay, this is turning out to be a really long video. Let's move on. 43, rocket or submarine? Actually, my kids and I have been discussing this for a while. I think that a submarine would make me feel very claustrophobic, but so would a rocket. A rocket seems really dangerous and crazy and, like, out of control, so I don't think I could really handle that realistically. I would hate a submarine, too, but I'm going to have to choose that. That seems less out of control to me than a rocket, but neither of those sound fun to me at all. 44, favorite movie? Um, I would have to say a good portion of my life, Anna Green Gables kind of defines who I am. And like my sister and I, we used to watch it every weekend and we could quote practically that whole movie. But I have watched so many good movies that I really like, especially lately. Some of these old movies have really been quite good. So I don't know. I like a lot of movies. Lord of the Rings. That's a great one. Spider-Verse is good, but I wouldn't consider it a favorite. Sorry. The music on there is awesome. I love the soundtrack to Spider-Verse. Captain America? I'm not a, any of those Marvel fans. I don't, I'm not, I hate violent kinds of movies. Okay. I don't care if it's violent or not. I don't find it that interesting. 
Okay, moving on. Uh, 45 school girl, girl crush. I'm assuming you mean someone you had a crush on <laughs> during your childhood. Because I never had a crush on a girl. Um, and honestly, I really can't remember many of the people I did have crushes on when I was a kid. I don't know. Yeah, Henry keeps talking about this boyfriend I had when I was like 12. Yes, okay. It was just one of those weird middle school things, right? Not not weird. It was normal, but... Hey. Okay. 46. Phone make. I have a wa Huawei. Is that how I say it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Chinese phone. Huawei. Trump spanned them. So, I probably shouldn't talk like that. Our president has banned the phone I have. There we go. 47. Sports team. I am not really into professional sports at all. I do like basketball just fine. So I'd probably choose jazz because that's the one I watch. My husband loves jazz. This kind of be... <laughs> I'm not going to say your little basketball team is my favorite. No. Uh-uh. Um, yeah, I'll say that. 48. Jeans or trousers? Definitely jeans. I am not a dressing up kind of person at all. 49. Sneakers or shoes? Again, sneakers. I wear tennis shoes all the time except for in the summer where I'm wearing when I'm wearing flip-flops. I am not a dress-up kind of person. So, 50. Dog or cat? If I don't know. There's good and bad about dogs and cats. But I would probably choose a guinea pig, which doesn't surprise anybody. <laughs> That's not one of the options. I know it's not an option. I'm making my own list. Dog or cat. I don't know. Dogs are cool because they care about you and they're fun and you can do stuff with them. Cats are easy, but they destroy your furniture. And I'm allergic to cats. It's a tough call. Yeah, I don't know. If I had to choose, I'd probably would choose a cat just because you can forget about them, basically. You just need to feed them. And that life's great. But with a dog that you can't. They're like a family member. So, And I just don't want to put a whole lot of work into an animal unless they're a guinea pig. So that is it. So, yes, guinea pigs really. But I do like all guinea pigs. Um, I am pretty sure most of my friends have already done this tag. Um, so if you haven't, please do it for me. And let me know so I can watch it. But I'm for sure tagging Angie from Brown Girl Life because I totally miss her videos. I miss hearing her voice and seeing her lovely face. So I'm hoping that she'll be interested. And if you do it, really, please let me know. Take care. Have a great weekend.